y'all, it's Annalise. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPhone 7 Plus. So if you are interested in any of that, go ahead and keep on watching. So I think when I made my last What's on my iPhone video, it was for my iPhone 6, and that had to have been at least two years ago because I've had my iPhone 7 Plus for at least two years now. And I figured, hey, let's go ahead and update it before I get a new phone. So just to get started, I have the iPhone 7 Plus. It is the silver version. It is the 256 unlocked model. And I've had this thing for, it will be two years in December. And I absolutely love it. This is my first plus size phone, and I think it's great, especially with how much I'm on it. And like I do things like spreadsheets on here or Word documents or email or watching videos like I just really like the plus size model so I think for my next phone I will stay in this range unless if I go to the iPhone 10 size phone which is smaller than this but bigger than the iPhone 8 who knows what the future holds for me but otherwise I really love the plus size model so starting off with not I'm not gonna start with my home screen here I'm actually gonna start with like the widget screen and up top I have batteries then up next weather maps and dream days which is at the bottom which is an app for counting down days which I like for knowing for for certain events or like traveling or whatever. But I like having batteries at the top because it also shows me the life of my headphones too when my headphones are on, so that's really cool. So obviously my homepage is my go-to page. It's the apps that I use the most. And so I've got ESPN, calendar, photos, camera, weather, maps, reminders, Lyft driver, which is the app you use if you drive for Lyft, as it says in the title. Then we have a utilities folder. And in here I've got the calculator, clock, voice memos, Google Translate. You never know when you'll have to translate something. Time hop, wallet, health, watch, TV. On the next page I've got news, find my friends, contacts, FaceTime, find my iPhone, Apple support. If you have an Apple device, download this app. It helps you get support right from the app, whether that means scheduling a Genius Bar appointment, scheduling a phone call, or having support articles. Uh, the activity app for my Apple Watch, and then the Compass. There's some apps in here that you can delete, like the news app or the Compass, but I use them like once every couple of months, so why not leave it on? I've got 256 gigabytes of storage. I think I'm fine. Settings, iTunes Store, App Store, Podcasts, YouTube, YouTube Studio. That's for creators so in there I can see like analytics on my videos like how many comments that each video has I can edit things I can respond to comments from here a lot of fun super interesting stuff really riveting iBooks which will be changing to Apple books which I think is so stupid messenger for Facebook even though I hate it a lot of people use it notability files notes messages Facebook Twitter and Instagram this like bottom two rows are like my go-to rows because I use all the ones on the bottom row and then my like dog area is the phone, mail, safari, and music, which are the apps I use like all the time. Moving over to the next page, I have the Lyft app. I prefer Lyft over Uber. And if you are wondering why, I made a Lyft versus Uber for the driver experience, but I also talk about my rider experience too. So check that out. Pinterest, HQ trivia. We've got a finance folder in here. I just have like different banks that I have. It's super not interesting. The only interesting one that I would say would be Capital, which is the one at the bottom right that says like, it looks like it says like, it's not Capital because there's no you, but it's the Q capital one. So this is like an automatic money saving app. So pretty much what I do is I just have a like a feature on there that says round up to the nearest dollar on any transaction that I do for my bank account. And then it puts that into a savings account. So through this process, I've already saved up like $85 since November, which is just super cool because I don't do anything. Like it's just saving money on its own. And it's just pennies here and there or a few cents or, you know, maybe a dollar on a certain transaction, like 99 cents but it's not a lot but it saves a lot without you even looking at it so it's really cool check out capital I've got a link in my description the only thing is uphold which is used for like Bitcoin but there's this one website I signed up for it's like a way to I don't honestly I don't know I just have it yep moving on the pages app lose it which is for like Cali tracking and stuff um, IGTV which is a new thing so IGTV is a new app that I just downloaded I just made a video about IGTV so go check that out moving on to entertainment um, I just have a whole bunch of different entertainment things on here. I don't watch a ton of stuff besides YouTube on my phone. I will at the gym though. So when I'm at the gym, I'll watch HBO um, for last week tonight and like certain movies while I'm on the treadmill and I'll watch the Comedy Central app and sometimes SNL. But otherwise I don't watch a ton of stuff. Oh, I'll watch like stand-up shows at the gym on my phone. But I keep a lot of these apps on here just because maybe I'm at the airport or maybe I'm traveling and I want to access these. Maybe I'm on a break at school. There's a lot of apps on my phone, which you'll see that maybe I don't use all the time, but I have them downloaded 
downloaded because it's easier to have them downloaded than having to worry about downloading them to access what I want to access, if that makes sense. And then we've got the Numbers app, Google Drive, Duolingo, which is a game to learn languages. It's really cool. Then in my shopping folder. So in this shopping folder, I realized a lot of these apps are just kind of being used for like rewards. I've just got different apps. I would say some of the ones that I use the most are going to be the Chick-fil-A app for like points and things like that. I try to use Target for cartwheel, which is coupons. Amazon, obviously, just ordering stuff on Amazon. The Blazin' Rewards app for Buffalo Wild Wings, and then the BJ's app for BJ's Rewards. So some of these shopping apps, oh, and Cinemark for Cinemark Rewards, and I have the Noodles app for Noodle Rewards, and Jamba Juice for Jamba Juice Rewards. I love doing the rewards things, because they pay off, especially like the Jamba Juice one. The BJ's one really pays off. I've gotten like $25 off a meal before, like worth it, download those. I have DoorDash on here. I've never used it, but I have a coupon for like $10 off, like a, a DoorDash thing in my account right now. So one day I'll use it. I also don't use Postmates either, but they had a free deal for Postmates the other day, so I downloaded it. And Zoom Zoom, which is a Disney, like connect the bubbles game. It's fun. I don't play it as much as I used to, but I used to go like ham on that game. It's a fun one. One second every day, which I always forget to do. It just like compiles videos. Like you do one second every day. Mitchell Davis does a whole bunch of series of those. So like go check out his old ones. Um, then we've got the Kindle app. Gas Buddy is a great app for finding cheapest gas near you. Then I have a piano app. Moving on. This is my page where I have a whole bunch of folders. So on this page, I've got a work folder. Um, some important apps in here. Like this first page is kind of like work slash theater related stuff. This next page are these two apps, which I don't entirely know what they do but like some theater people I follow were advertising them. So I just figured why not get on board now? This page for work is like clothes selling apps that I don't shop on a ton, but I try to sell my stuff on there. So that's why I have it in a work folder. But the most important ones for me in here are off book, which is for learning lines. You can like record lines and like say it to it. And like, it helps my Patreon for seeing my Patreon. Um, yeah, that was real eloquent, Annalise. That was really good. And then Google voice where you can create a phone number and then it actually rings to your phone. So that way you're not giving out your personal phone number to everybody. Just found out that trick. It's been great. Social media. These are like socials that I don't really use a ton, but I still like having on my phone. So I don't use Skype a lot. I just downloaded Google Duo because I have a friend who uses it. WhatsApp, I have like a cousin who uses it, but we don't talk a ton. Discord, I just downloaded because I'm trying to create a Discord server, which is like a group chat for my Patreon. Still exploring that. I don't entirely understand Discord. In tools, I just have some things like the SoundCloud apps for checking out my podcast, Verizon. I don't like Google Maps but sometimes some apps require you to use Google Maps, so I just have that on there. Of course, Dream Days again, Camera Connect, um, Anthem, the Camera Connect thing is so I can see on my new camera, which is like so cool. Like I can download pictures from it, it's really awesome. And then I've got Road Trip, which is a cool one um, for calculating mileage, mileage on your car, the MPG, the price of gas, and then it calculates it to how much you're gonna spend on gas on a trip, so that's really cool. The Apple TV remote for me is a must if you have an Apple TV, because if you misplace your Apple TV remote, you don't have to worry about being screwed because now you don't have a remote like you can do it from your phone but it gives you the ability to even do Siri from here too it's great I have the newer Apple TV and I absolutely love it Wix for checking my website test flight is if you're doing Apple app betas which I've done a few and then this screen over here I've got two sign language dictionary apps so like if I don't know what a word is in sign language I can google it or I can search it on this platform games I barely ever play any of these games I'd say the games that I play the most are probably four letters and then randomly Sonic Forces I don't like Fortnite on here. I'm going to delete the, it's not that I don't like, I haven't had a chance to play Fortnite and I didn't really like the Harry Potter game. Yeah, I'm going to delete Harry Potter. Sorry. I don't even use Peak either. They're all gone. Look at that making cuts. I deleted like 20 apps over the past couple of days because I wanted to do this video, but then I realized that there were so many apps on here that I didn't want and like that I never used and I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, here's an app I don't use. Here's an app I don't use, you know? But I just have these games on here so that way if I ever get into a place where I want to play stuff, I don't have to worry about downloading it, like I explained before. Moving on, travel. Southwest is the airline that I fly like almost exclusively with. I have the Southwest credit card. It's great. I also always book with booking.com. Absolutely love them. I'm um, Disney. <laughs> So um, I have all the Disney parks apps downloaded for no good reason besides just looking at the maps and seeing like the stuff on the, on the maps. But the Disneyland app or the Disney World app, if you go to either of those parks or any of these apps, if you go to these parks, 
is like so clutch because it tells you wait times as well as where the bathrooms are as well as like it's a map and then like show times for things and that's how you can get your photo pass pictures and you can um, do max pass or fast pass plus and it's just delightful so if you go to Disney parks download their app you'll thank me later and then the shop parks app so you can buy stuff um, coding I'm trying to learn how to code but I haven't played any of these games really so I have them on here to kind of be like hey you lazy butt learn how to code here's some games to do it uh -huh. all right in my photo folder I have face to and visco lightroom afterlight and insta size the three that I use the most are visco insta size and afterlight um afterlight just for general editing insta size for editing now as well as for borders when you're trying to put a square picture on instagram insta size for like maybe you have a picture that's really long but it won't fit in the square and it like cuts things off so you just put a frame on it it's really great and then uh, visco because of the filters haven't really used lightroom i only use facetime facetune for like eyeball whitening or teeth whitening but i got it for free i have it and then in my health app um some apps that i don't use <laughs> And that's that. That's my phone. So as you guys have learned, there's a lot of apps on my phone that I do not use. There's just some times where you just don't know what situation you'll be in. And the way I see it, like I said, is I have so much storage available on my phone. Why not have apps that I know I enjoy? And then that one time in a, I'm in a pickle of, oh, I'm sitting in Jiffy Lube waiting for my oil to get changed. And it's not going to be long enough to like start watching a video or I don't have my headphones with me. But maybe I just want to play a game of Sonic Run or I want to do a trivia game or the four letters game like, who knows, you know? So that's why I have all that crap downloaded. And maybe I don't use it all. And that's okay, because that's my prerogative. I, I try to keep things pretty organized. Like this this page, I keep in like a rainbow order. I don't know if you noticed that, but that's very important to me. As well as like, I try to keep in a rainbow order or at least some sort of like color coordinated order in my folders. That's how I choose to live my life. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> So that is it for my what's on my iPhone 7 Plus video. If you have any questions about any of the apps that I use, feel free to let me know or ask me those questions in the comment section down below or you can tweet at me. I've also made two my favorite apps videos and so if you want to check those out, I have actually mentioned 15 apps over the course of those two videos. I have mentioned apps that are currently on my phone and so go check that out if you want to learn more about certain apps and what they do and just about like my faves and all that stuff. I feel like everybody probably has a really intentional way that they set up their phone especially because in this day and age we all have our phones on us all the time and they're like our second arm wait a second <laughs> you get you get what i meant but i have two arms so it would be my third arm you get what i mean what I meant was, is that our phones are like another limb to us. It's an appendage of us. So we want to make sure that they're very specific and how we have them organized and how we like and whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about me and how I like my things organized and maybe found an app that intrigued you that you want to check out. I will leave the links to some of the... I have no idea what happened to the last three minutes of this video. The footage is gone from my computer. But as I think I was saying, if you have any questions about about any apps that I mentioned in this video. I'll have some of those linked in the description down below or always feel free to comment down below or tweet me at Annalise Veldman if you have any questions or anything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and like this video if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, that is it for me. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!